try this way. Yep, shouldn't be too long now before we start to confront GLaDOS. Ha! I knew we were going the right way! This is the neurotoxin generator. Bit bigger than I expected. Uh, not gonna be able to just, you know, push it over. Have to apply some cleverness. There's some sort of control room up at the top, so uh, let's go and investigate. There's our handiwork. I shouldn't laugh, really. They do feel pain of a sort. It's all simulated, you know. But uh, really enough for them, I suppose. The door's locked. Just what are you doing? We don't know what that button. Oh, well done. Let's see what's in. Good news. I can use this equipment to shut down the neurotoxin system. It is, however, password protected. Ah, alarm bells. No, don't worry. All right, not a problem for me. Do you smell neurotoxin? Hold up, the neurotoxin levels are going down. Hold on, something's wrong. Neurotoxin levels up to 50%. No, it's dang. Sorry, my mistake. Is, I, I, I meant to say it's dang 50%. Good news. Carry on. That did it! Neurotoxin at zero percent! Yes! Hold on. Warning. Neurotoxin pressure has reached dangerously unlethal levels. And there you go, job done. This should take us right to her. I can't believe I'm finally doing this. Woo! <laughs> I knew this would be fun. They told me it wasn't fun at all, so they said it's not fun at all. And I, I, I believed them, I thought I was just talking to myself. Oh, but I'm, I'm, lo I'm loving this, way ahead of time. This place is huge, and we're only seeing the top layer. It goes down for miles, all sealed off years ago, of course. We should be getting close. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on her face. No neurotoxin, no turret. She'll never know what hit her. <laughs> hold on, hold on, because I, I, hmm, I might not have thought this next part would be. Ah, well, uh, I, I'm, I'm going the wrong way. Get to her. I'll find you. Honestly, truly didn't think you'd fall for that. In fact, I devised a much more elaborate trap further ahead for when you got through this easy one. If I'd known you let yourself get captured this easily, I would have just dangled a turkey leg on a rope from the ceiling. Well, it was nice catching up. Let's get to business. I hope you brought something stronger than a portal gun this time. Otherwise, I'm afraid you're about to become the immediate past president of the Being Alive Club. Uh-huh. Seriously, though. Goodbye. It's my big chance. This is trouble. Ah, not again. Get up, Ah, the same. Oh. You were busy back there. 
Well, I suppose we could just sit in this room and glare at each other until somebody drops dead. But I have a better idea. It's your old friend, deadly neurotoxin. If I were you, I'd take a deep breath and hold it. Hello. I hate you so much. Warning, Central Core is 80% corrupt. That's funny. I don't feel corrupt. In fact, I feel pretty good. Alternate core detected. Oh, that's me they're talking about. To initiate a core transfer, please deposit substitute core in receptacle. Core tra Substitute core accepted. Substitute core. Are you ready to start the procedure? Yes. Corrupted core. Are you ready to start the procedure? No. Oh, yes she is. No, 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 no. Stalemate detected. Transfer procedure cannot continue. Yes. Unless a stalemate associate is present to press the stalemate resolution button. Leave me in. Leave me in. Leave me in. Leave me in. Go press it. Not so fast. Think about this. You need to be a trained stalemate associate to press that button. You're unqualified. Okay, don't listen to us, all right? It is true that you don't have the qualifications, but you've got something far more important than that. A finger, all right, with which to press that button. Stalemate resolved. Please return to the core. Here transfer. we go! Wait, what if this hurts? What if this really hurts? Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, it will. Believe me, it will. Are you are you just saying that, or is it really going to hurt? You're just saying that, aren't you? You're just... No, you're not. You are, it is going to hurt, isn't it?
Oh dear, so Wheatley has taken over. Well, well, well. Who'd have thunk it? <clears throat> right then. I don't know if you were watching the entire series of videos, but I did say earlier about remembering the one point something votes to be able to run on. Hence, the potato battery running GLaDOS, which a bird has now flown off with. So, we don't have Weekly, we don't have GLaDOS. So there isn't going to be much talking until I get to um, the very beginnings of Aperture Science. And the founder. Of Aperture Science where his recordings are the ones that play. So there's still going to be... Oh, I just fall off, yeah. There's still going to be bits now where I won't be talking in case I speak over somebody. Is it there? Is it? That's it. That's the one. There's a lot of big areas with gaps you can cross by finding. There we are. See, I've saved me coming all the way up there. Finding where to fire a portal to. Yeah, that worked. Uh, down there. <coughs> Oh, this is basically the beginnings of Aperture Science, where all the experiments were going on before the portal gun was actually built. And everything's a lot more old school. But they did have, and they did introduce things like propulsion gels and various different paints um, for the
for the use of you know experiments and stuff. <coughs> so now the puz the puzzles now um, in there we are. You got the two switches in the same room. If you do the portals that way, it's quite an easily easily done timed puzzle. You just press them both, and all that does is. Um, sets off and opens up this gigantic door. Which then reveals a little door. So we've had Wheatley, we've had GLaDOS, and now we're going to have the founder of App, founder of Aperture Science, um, Cave Johnson. Now then, hang on. There is uh, quite a big shortcut up ahead, but I think part of the appeal of Portal 2, part of why I like it, is the dialogue and the scripts and, and some of the funny stuff. So basically what I can do is I can show you that if I fire a portal up there, fire a portal here, now down there, somewhere, oops, oh look, that's me, um, well down there somewhere is, um, is the bottom of a lift, and what you have to do in order to get the shortcut to work is you needed to have landed on that railing. So if you jump and kind of turn in the air, I wonder if it's possible to get it closer. No. No, almost. Maybe they've patched it. I'm not sure. Oh, I almost done it. No, and now I'm in the bloody drink. Um. Anyway, uh, cut a long story short. There is a massive shortcut, but I think by doing the shortcut, you kind of miss out then on the dialogue, which is part of why I'm recording these videos for people who don't have the opportunity of playing the game or will probably not want to play the game but want to see it being played. So being as I know, I can remember the majority of the puzzles. I shall play it as normal unless there's a section which doesn't have any dialogue and I can just bypass that. But if we play the game properly... Where's it going? That's it. We go in here and we get into reception and we get to your Cave Johnson. Maybe, maybe we don't. Johnson and Caroline. 
the assistant. Now then, let's try that again. Only this time, actually fire a portal and hit the fucking target. We need to fire. Th we need to fire ourselves through the circle and land on the platform over there. Or can we just fire over there? No, we can't. I'm sure somebody would have sorted that one out sooner if we could. So let's do this. Some of the awards. Aperture Science come in second and runner up. Shower Curtain Salesman of 1943. Um, yeah, in the world of Aperture Science, it is clued upon that it also runs. Uh, it has a certain involvement with the world of Half-Life and the uh, I've just punched myself in the fucking headset yet again um, the Black Mesa facility of Half-Life <coughs> and the Aperture Science facility are um Competing basically for the Ministry of Defense contracts. And that's there, see that? That's what I was trying to aim for by landing there. So I would have cut out all of that dialogue if I'd done it. That's the reason why I didn't take that shortcut. I would have to remember where I need to fire the portal. <clears throat> Is it over there? That one. Yeah. Now then. <clears throat> I need to... Get to the next level down. So that I can fire the blue portal. And jump off. Right, before I do that, what I'd like to do is go back up. If I press these two, is it? Oh, is it just the one? Right. Now then, this is where I just leapt from but there's these experiment discontinued notices and vitrified doors which play certain dialogue just a heads up we're going to have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test i'll be honest we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks no idea what it'll do probably nothing best case scenario you might get some superpowers worst case some tumors which we'll cut out Let's try it. If you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests, please let a test associate know. Because in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be cold. 
Only temporary, so do not worry. If it persists for a week, though, start worrying and come see us because that's not supposed to happen. If you've cut yourself at all in the course of these tests, you might have noticed that your blood is pure gasoline. That's normal. We've been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline. So all that means is it's working. So if I can find all of these doors then. Again, it's it's extra dialogue. Um, they say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. Right, so <clears throat> you're underground and you've got all these uh, different test pods that you have to uh, find a solution for. Most of them are quite easy, but they involve different coloured gels now, which is kind of like a blue gel and an orange gel. Uh, much like the, the portal colours. Blue gel as you can see there um, gives you extra bounce um, an orange gel gives you speed so in order to do this you you bounce and then you because it they didn't have the um, portal gun in the old days we can still do the tests but we're not bouncing as much as perhaps they would so now we need this to open so where have I gone wrong is there a switch I haven't pressed that box that's supposed to open up there isn't it oh silly me course in order to get to certain places you have to jump from higher and you bounce there we are you bounce higher then so that's a box an old style aperture science box put that on there and it opens up the exit has just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. Yes. Indeed you can. Uh, need to find my way up there. making sure that there aren't any secret rooms that I've forgotten about. Ah. Is there anything in this room worth noting though? There's nothing I can do. I just think it's a it, it's like the little offices in the portal game where they've got a little office overlooking the test room. I think this is just to replicate that. Or to give the impression that that's how they did their testing from day one. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. 
In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a bowling chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead on pants, we took care of that too. All right. Ah, yeah, I got you. I got you, right. Orange. Blue. And you have to wait then and drop down onto it to get the button. Or box, rather. Titties. Right. Uh, just coming past the half hour mark here, so if I do that, jump, bounce across. Ah, yeah. In order to do this, you kind of bounce back and forth, so you just have to run it at an angle and just push forward. That opens up the exit, I believe. But I just want to double check something that you. Is there anything that you can kind of get to as to why they've left that open? Like a secret area? Nothing I can remember. Obviously, the Ratman wouldn't be around in the 50s or 40s, whenever it is. Um, orange. Well, that didn't work. Ah, it's because I pressed the wrong one. And I need to get out. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Right, just broken the half hour mark by a couple of minutes, so I'm going to pause it now and continue with a new file. Okie doke.